This event is part of the New Jersey Theater Alliance 2021 Stages Festival, a statewide celebration of theater. The Stages Festival offers more than 80 free and low-cost theater events each spring in March, April, and May. Please check out all the great offerings in this year's festival at njtheateralliance.org slash stages. everyone, welcome to our fireside chat today. I'm Sarah Rasmussen, the new artistic director here at McCarter Theatre Center on the beautiful campus of Princeton University. And today I'm so excited to be joined by our, our fireside guest, John Lambert. John runs the Princeton Record Exchange, which is a nationally acclaimed uh, independent record store here in downtown Princeton. And um, the record store has also been one of McCarter's community partners over the years, I've For learned, years which is and years. really yeah, exciting. Going so on a decade now. Yeah. yeah, so we're here by our, our, our fire with some drinks from our friends at Sacred Coffee. Thank you, so Thank you so much. I know. I know. It's, so it's people little, know it, it's real. It, it really is chilly. It's, I know. <laughs> so that feels it's good. Really kicking out some heat. Um, so John, you have such an interesting story because you've been with the Record Exchange for a really long time as an employee yeah. and then general manager, and now you run the place. So how has the local Princeton art scene evolved during all your your experience watching it? You know, that's a question I get a lot. And and not only have I been at Record Exchange for 32 years, but I grew up in town. So we moved here in I don't know, 1970, and I lived here through my teen years. I went to high school okay. here and moved away and came back. And all that time, it, it's been startlingly static as far as the artistic venue growth has gone. And that's always something that kind of perplexed me a little bit until I started to pay rent. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's becoming much more obvious why little pop-up and little places and venues and cafes and things yeah. can't afford to have a lot of music. Yeah. Uh, but there's always the stalwarts, and they've been great. So we have Richardson Auditorium, mm -hmm. uh, courtesy of Princeton University, has fantastic programs yeah. and have for years up there. So Talking Heads there in 77, you know, wow. going way back then. Uh, Don McLean, I think, in 72. Uh, so yeah. they've, they've put on good shows forever. We have, of course, McCarter Theater, uh, which I'll yeah. give you continual plugs throughout the show because I love you guys. <laughs> oh. uh, and you've got, you know, great stuff going. I will say there's a little bit of growth in the Arts Council of Princeton. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've really got to know them well, uh, but they've got a great gallery and some really nice artistic programs going there. Uh, that's been good. And then the Public Library has an amazing programs, um, both music uh, and just all sorts of stuff. Uh, so when they're open back up again, I trust yes, they'll continue with yes. that. That's the biggest bummer right now is that we're not producing yeah, because I was sure. so excited not only to come and run McCarter as artistic director, but but to get to go to the concerts here. <laughs> so really I, I can't nice wait lineup. till till you know, that comes although back. For me, you know, it's funny. People always go, what shows do you yeah. see? What shows do you see as far as music goes? Um, I'm so steeped in music 24-7 that I've certainly seen a lot of nice programs. But to me, the play is the thing. Uh, so that's, oh, that's, that's great why to hear. I'm here. My yeah. wife and I have been... Uh, avid fans for decades now uh, yes. a little bit later if you ask me i've got a crib sheet we can go over some yeah. of the stuff we've seen oh um, that's great but so that that to me is really what is the draw for me this is this is how i learned about theater yeah. as a kid and it's it's just so dear yeah. to my heart for that well and so years. unique that mccarter does both it's it actually yeah. very mm -hmm. unique for a, a a performing arts organization to produce their own work and present so I'm, I'm excited to, to get back to that as soon as yeah, we can. Yeah, we, we hope so, yeah. right? Sure. Yeah. Well, I wanted to also ask you, you've been, you've been heralded by Everett, New York Times, Rolling Stone, Billboard, LCD Sound System. Super cool. We, we, um, yeah. When we're producing shows at McCarter, Record Exchange is also, like I said, it's where we'll find a lot of our uh, sound designers and mm -hmm. technicians. It's so, yeah. I've heard from so many people in the sound That's world. You great. have to go check yeah. that out. So what do you think helps create that amazing reputation? Yeah, that that's a good question, and I think I think you guys are that way too. Um, you know, it, it, it it's acting with a vision, and and it's and it's doing it with integrity, right? So, I think it's really important on a regular basis to step back from the place. It's so easy to get imagined in day to day, yeah. kind of lose a sense of what you're doing or where you're going. But to, to do that regular step back and go, what are my customers' needs? What are my patrons' needs? Yeah. What yeah. are they looking for now? What, what's the climate? Um, and once hopefully you figure that out to some extent, then then enacting that in, in a really, well, in, in, in an honorable way. So you mm. treat your customers well, you treat your patrons well, with courtesy, with respect. Um, 
with an understanding that this, it's a symbiotic relationship. You know, yeah, I great. think when your deeds match your words, uh, they can be heard for a thousand miles. You know, and it really makes yeah. a, a long-term difference. People people sense that. Like we spoke about a little earlier, that we've been really lucky at McCarter to partner with the Record Exchange. I feel lucky. What are some things you'd love to see McCarter do as as we come out of this? What are things you'd love to collaborate on? Uh, as far as collaboration goes, you know, we're pretty much open to anything because we love working with music, and we've done things with uh, Detroit '67 mm -hmm. with you and Josh Ritter and the Jazz in June series, and those are all really fun things. You know, that I'd love to continue that kind of yes. thing. Yes. But every every play, every event has to my mind anyway a potential soundtrack yes and we love supplying that we love it's just it's challenging yeah. for us to get like okay there's that event uh, what kind of music do we want yeah. what tone do we want to generate here how does that work together it's always fun pretty much yeah. whatever you pick we were happy to work with you oh that's great one of my favorite things is is um, musicians who've traditionally worked in the in the music world moving into the theater world and writing mm. for theater, whether it's music for a, a theater piece or, or branching into writing a new kind of musical that has a, uh, yeah. a new kind of sound. So, so that's so something. Burns Utopia, yes, as, as perfect yeah. example, just came out of net. I haven't seen the Spike Lee. I want to see yet. the movie I know, too. Just came out on I just HBO. got HBO uh, <laughs> for that reason. Working, we're working with yeah. that company doing a promotion in store now. Oh, great! Where they gave us a. a the album soundtrack and a companion book yeah. and the book is fantastic it's it's very kind of oh, kids beautiful. book oriented yeah. Uh, so yeah it is really cool I think when you get these polymaths who are able to Absolutely. just sort of jump from uh, artistic endeavor to endeavor yeah and I think amazing. so exciting for audiences too to, oh, I mean yeah, I love yeah. a great traditional musical but it's fun to see um, these kind of hybrid pieces yeah even or something new like Green on. Day like it's not that kind yeah. of music but the fact that they put on a Broadway show yeah. you know being a proto-punk rocker like, yeah. that's kind of cool there's a lot right? of that you right know? now Alanis like Morissette right. obviously right. Jagged Little Pill and yeah, um, we're, we're Sarah Bareilles doing, you know, you know Waitress. And, right, right. Yeah. Lots of cool stuff. Yeah. yeah. I just moved here from Minneapolis with, with my family and uh, we're getting to know Princeton still. What are some other favorite, what are some favorite things, favorite food, favorite place to be yeah, outside you know, right now? This, what are some highlights for you? It would have been such an easy question six months I ago. Know. And I would have had well, a Or tell me list. what I should look forward so, to when we so, can. You know, Come one of my favorites person. is closed down now, and that's the Princeton University Art Museum. It's what a fantastic resource with a really nice, it's a teaching uh, museum. And, yes. and, and the overview from everything from antiquities to modern times is really nicely represented. Yeah. Uh, James Stewart, who runs the place, is fantastic. Yes, I've gotten to he, speak he really with James. Shook He's up, wonderful. shook yeah. up stuff and yeah. uh, collections that had gotten a little staid and musty have really yeah. been circulating around. So uh, that was that was probably the most painful of me to go. Yeah. Uh, but I will say, open-wise now, uh, we had spoke off-camera about Labyrinth, yes. a fantastic bookstore. Uh, please support your independent bookstores. I am like supporting your Labyrinth uh, Books. Music stores, they are a fantastic yeah. organization. They give a lot back. Yeah. Uh, to the uh, to the community as yeah. well. Uh, the Arts great. Council, which I mentioned before, has a really beautiful gallery. Uh, yeah. They're doing stuff always worthwhile to step in and yeah. see what they're doing. And you can go up in the upper floors and see what the kids are doing on the yeah. arts. Up, so that's oh, really great. neat. Um, but I'm going to have to pivot a little bit and do outdoors uh, because this place yes. is filled with fantastic outdoor things to do. Uh, as simple as uh, taking a tour of the university for the gargoyles and uh, outdoor art. There are incredible sculptures everywhere yeah. around here. There's Henry Moore's, there's, there's Sarah's, there's yeah. all sorts of stuff. There's a Solowit tucked away yeah. in a little hallway like down you know, by Poe Field. Uh, the, the gargoyles are fun, and you can get a little book that's online. I think you like look for oh, it. Oh, great. Do a little, especially that. with the yeah. kids. That's yeah. really a lot of fun to do. Um, and then we're surrounded by parks, wonderful parks. I'm an outdoor guy when I'm not listening to music. So there's a little gem, Marquand Park, just down the road there. It's got one of the widest assortment of trees of any like square mile in America. Wow, fun there fact. There was arborists who lived around here, and they used that as a, a sort of a planting museum in a way of trees. Uh, just a wonderful little park with incredible stuff to look at. Um, the DNR uh, Canal. It goes mm -hmm. along Lake Carnegie. I'm sure you've seen Lake Carnegie. Yes. I don't know if you're familiar with the fact that there's a canal that runs everywhere from New Brunswick down to Trenton. There's a gap and then up to past Frenchtown up the Delaware. Uh, I live in Rocky Hill, which is about five miles up. It's a really nice run when I'm not COVID-10 fat <laughs> to get there. <laughs> so it's really neat. You know, you can walk through these. You got the river on one side, the canal on the other, canopies of trees, and then burst out onto this beautiful lake. Um, Mountain Lakes, speaking of other lakes, down on 206 there, gorgeous place to walk, little waterfalls, very serene. So with a little bit of exploration, uh, if you like to be outside, yeah. there's no end of possibilities around oh, here. Oh, that's great. 
Well, thank you so much for your time, John, sure. today. And thank you for all you're doing for the community. It's oh, really no, it's my great. Pleasure. And I'm it's glad to hear satisfying. it's going well for you. And so. the community really supports us. And yes. we're going to give a big thank you yeah, back to them. Yeah, so thanks to everyone who's who's showing up and supporting your, your organization. Absolutely. Right now too, Keep it coming, so. please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, take care.